Hey guys, I figured I'd throw up another vid since everyone's talking about this major solar storm and the crack in the magnetosphere near the uh, equinoxes. Might want to check out Nemesis, Nemesis Maturity. Has a decent video on that. And it's short, 3 minutes 34 seconds. Anyway, I put up the... Uh, Magnetopause position from this is all UTC time, so that's like five five hours ahead of us, I believe, in Eastern Eastern Standard, or maybe six now with the time change, and it goes all the way back to once it restarts, it'll be back around seventeen hundred on three eighteen, and that's when we had the. Uh, minor geomagnetic solar storm or mid mid range i guess got up into the red hang on a sec okay i pulled up solar ham there's the kp index so uh, you can see that we got up into the uh four five and six range there for a while around uh late last night and uh early this morning so that's what we got here. So you can see these are synced. Flips back. It's around 7, 1900, late 1900 hours. So close to 8 o'clock when these things are uh, beginning their simulation. You can see, you know, but look at all this backside stuff, man. We're getting so much energy from the backside. Not normal, guys. And then down here, I pulled up the uh, couple of the folk radiation belts. Similar time frame, but these run a little bit differently. I have them both synced. However, when they start, they're going to start back on the 17th. But you can see that Earth, this is Earth, sun face inside away side just like up here you can see we have a ton of energy this is at the f highest energy uh, electron volt rating for MeV and this one's at the 1 MeV <clears throat> they're all all the electron belts that I pulled up are all showing complete saturation low energy and high energy so you can see Earth being bathed in energy, which isn't good. And you can see it creeping up here from the backside. That's the problem. And look at this magnetopause, how it's getting <clears throat> flung around from all different directions. When really the only solar wind pressure should be coming from here. This is the sun facing side. So it should only be getting pressure from here. However, as you can see, it flailing around like one of those uh, inflatable yellow dummies on the car commercials. Uh, it's getting flung around from every which way. And then you can see all this backside energy building up. And we almost have a constant com plasma discharge now. Whereas before, it used to take a while, build up, and then it would... Uh, get to a point where all these closed field lines the red and the and the open field lines the black would get jumbled together like they are here and then you'd have the big plasma discharge but now it seems like we have so much energy coming in from the back side which has to be from uh, nemesis our binary twin sun the dwarf star, the brown dwarf. Our sun mostly is uh, emits protons. Uh, and of course, it emits electrons too, but it's mostly a positive charged star. And uh, being that Nemesis is our binary twin, eh, we just stand to reason that it emits mostly electrons. And you can see that quite obviously being picked up here because these are the electron belts. We're getting all these electrons from somewhere. <coughs> They're not coming from the sun. 
So anyway, this one here also shows uh, solar wind velocity. This is the magnetopause, which is our shield that protects the planet. This is where the satellites run around. This is about 22,000 miles above the Earth. As you can see, this stuff's even getting below that. This energy is leaking in, mostly from the backside, but it's leaking in from everywhere. See, it's spiraling down in to the earth and these arrows show the direction of the solar wind velocity so as you can see most of the time they're coming from the correct direction from the salt from our Sun but sometimes you can see they get turned around jumbled back this way and that way but look at this constant plasma discharge I mean that's some high energy serious high energy stuff there guys so anyway, that's that there, and I pulled up the ACE real-time solar wind satellite data for the last seven days. And if you watched a couple of my previous videos, we identified that uh, at regular intervals, right around midnight, and for like four or five hours, there's like data missing. No data, no data, no data. This is on the seven day this is this uh, d designates the low energy electrons and protons this is the high energy protons only here's our magnetic field and solar wind electron profon alpha monitor but as you can see on all of these, we got the same gaps right around the midnight hour for like four or five hours every day. And this has been going on since I've been doing these recordings anyway for the last couple of months. And I remember looking at it periodically here and there before that. And it, I noticed it was happening then as well. So you could see it all here on every satellite reading. We have the big gaps. So, I mean, what's making these gaps? In my opinion, it's got to be from something that is blocking the data reaching the satellites because it happens every day at the same time. Same station, Batman so anyway there you have that uh, here no there is no gaps in the times at least from what I've got from 1900 on the 18th up through almost noon UTC on the uh, today the 19th we're not getting any gaps which that's kind of remarkable because we were getting one two hour three four hour gaps pretty regularly when I made the last few videos so there you have that there um, man I don't know what to say you get major changes going on daily Cat catastrophic cataclysmic biblical proportions I don't know what you want to call it but you might want to check out this dude's channel he puts together a video every, at least every other day on what happened on the earth and he's got some very good video quality. If you want some good pics on Planet X, check out Alex Lujan's channel, Planet X. Here's an excellent channel for uh, Planet X pics and the videos are always nice and short. I'll put the links uh, below. In my description box, at least I'll try to anyway. Let's find a few more. There's a good channel. Mr. MBB333. Mike puts out some good vids. So I don't agree always with some of his conclusions, especially on some of his weather vids, because he puts up uh, wind projections that are reflected by the wind gusts on Venture Sky, which... Those really are measuring winds at around 1,500 feet. But other than that, 
pretty accurate dude puts up some very interesting stuff here's another good channel for uh end time signs basically it's all the uh cataclysms going on in the planet mm, very good bids here's a great channel seems like it's, it's a new one that just popped up and he's been posting some very good planet x type uh, captures and the bids are short here's another channel i always check out and he puts out some shorter bids but uh, it's basically about uh, cataclysmic stuff going on uh, on the planet and sometimes get some good sky captures as well then of course we have wso with Steve Olson, he puts out some great stuff, and recently he posted a vid about Naughty Beaver investigating the Florida Bridge Collapse. Naughty Beaver, that's a YouTube channel. I would definitely recommend checking out this vid in particular, the Schumann Warning, plus the video he posts, a link to below for Naughty Beaver, which uh, kind of details what's going on. And how that bridge collapse is probably related to the Schumann residence. And a lot of other things that are going on too. It's all about frequency. Uh, everything in the universe has its own frequency. And whenever it gets matched by Schumann residence or another uh, strong frequency source, that's when uh, things begin to happen or disintegrate even another good one here that steve highlighted is this universal news she just came out recently with uh she just came out recently with uh on the scene but she's been posting some awesome pics from the uh faa weather cam in alaska universal news media so those are the channels I would definitely recommend. I check them out every day. Here's a few of the comments below the uh, latest Nared King World of Signs video. I posted um, this. Time is short. Nemes Nemesis Nibiru system is here. Cognit cognitive, cognitive dissonance normalcy bias. Question mark. Sadly, most people refuse to see or cannot see. Perhaps they think, what for? We all die and then what? Eternity is forever. And there is a heaven and also a hell. Choose wisely. Remember, if you call upon the name of Jesus from your heart, you will be saved. Acts 4.12 Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is another, none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now, um, here's a couple of interesting uh, replies. This lady says she's been sharing some of the stuff with people in her church, and their response is a beyond. She agrees wholeheartedly, and so do I. That's a problem. That's the whole reason I got into this thing, was to basically wake up the church who aren't listening. They're going to be foolish virgins asleep with no oil in their lamps. Just like in Matthew. Actually, it's Matthew 25, 1 through 13. That's what's happening, guys. And anybody else who wants to wake up, Jesus loves us all. All you got to do is call out from your heart. A lot of people have an intellectual mental assent that Jesus is real or he might be real but when you realize that you are a sinner in need of a savior that's when it gets into your heart and penetrates your heart and the best way to penetrate your heart is to get into the word I would definitely recommend here's a guy who's really bringing the word J. Vernon McGee he's on YouTube well he's not he's been dead for quite some time but uh all of his radio broadcasts have been recorded and put on here so through the Bible verse by verse basically he's a really cool dude I mean he don't look so cool but he's cool and he's laying it out and telling it like it is so the best way to uh, penetrate your heart like I said is to get that word in you the word of God 
For the word of God is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing asunder even the soul and the spirit. Love you guys all in the Lord. Running out of time.